Hey guys, it's Samantha. Welcome back to another Decades video. Today we are going to be hanging out with Elias and Alice and meeting back up with them after their big wedding day. We had a wonderful quiet wedding with some friends and family and they ended the night with a little bit of woohoos. Now with this challenge, you cannot just try for baby or have some woohoos. You have to try for baby. So we're gonna be jumping into the house. I'm so excited to find out if Alice is pregnant and I also want to quickly say I moved them to a different property so it would feel more farmy so with that all being said if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment down below if you did enjoy it I love to hear from you guys and I also wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who entered my giveaway uh, this video won't be going live till Monday however I am filming on Thursday so the giveaway is gonna be happening tomorrow so I don't know who's who's won yet I'm really excited to find out I have so much fun interacting with all of you guys during a giveaway and getting to know so many people so I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who entered and with all of that being said let's jump into the Sims 4 decades challenge alrighty so this is the lot that I moved them to I felt like it looked a lot more farmy and it was a little bit more remote than the background we had before. I think it's better because it doesn't have like the trailers and stuff. Um, how is Miss Alice doing? She's doing good. She's going to eat cake. I don't think you should eat cake. I think you should maybe come here and cook some eggs and toast for everyone. So, oh! I don't think, oh, it went away. Did you guys see that? It's right there. She's got the baby emoji. I think we've got a baby. Oh, poor Alice. Having a baby already. But I guess back then that would have been all that matters. So she's going to make breakfast. These two are so cute. Uh, scrap woodwork. I'm going to have her take care of all of the housework. And I'm going to have Elias focus on making some sculptures so we can start selling because we only have $383 and if we have a baby coming uh, we're gonna need to do an extension on the property. They are always so flirty. Craft sculpture. Um, Do a large bear. Is he super hungry? No, he needs to shower though. I'll put this in the fridge, and once she's done eating, I'll have her take care of all of the laundry in the house. It's going to be a busy day. I want to start their farm. So far, I have two plants going. She, like, they always want to talk. Okay. She's like, I really love you. Romance. Compliment his appearance. Yes. Oh, she really loves him. That's super cute. Welcome to Strangerville. Oh my gosh, they're like all infected. <laughs> Alice's main role in the household is going to be taking care of the property. Um and taking care of things while Elias is more focused on making money. So I'm just gonna have her do that. It's a beautiful day. She's in her hot weather look. She's working so hard on the farm. Doing laundry um, in the winter is gonna be a lot harder because the clothes don't dry very well on these lines. So he has two sculptures, so I'm going to add it to here. We have a couple plants, starter herbs. So that's good, so I'll get him I'll get her to open those up and plant those over here. So we also have the rose so I can have her uh, plant that too. She gave that to him on their wedding day. And I'm gonna quickly just go into build mode here now, where do I want their farm? I think I'll just make like a patch out back here. I don't have a lot of money right now. Oh, I don't like that color at all. Okay. 
So I'm going to put that there and I'm going to have her come plant it. And then we'll plant the potato there. No, don't eat the potato. Plant the potato. And he's still working away. It's a lot of late nights here at the farm. Because they really don't have a lot of money. So it's going to be a lot of hard work. And we'll put the rose, rose bush here. And the mushroom. Okay, so she's working hard at that. How many sculptures has he made? He's made quite a few. I'm going to have him make one more. I'm going to have him come over actually and I want him to make a mirror. Because I want him to gift a mirror to her. So we got lots of vegetables. <clears throat> so that's really good. He gave her this cute swan sculpture from their wedding. So I have to get a shelf too. So I'm going to have to get him to make a shelf for us to hang. But I think after she's done planting these, um, I'm going to let them eat dinner and then call it a night. Oh, he's like straight to bed. Aw, poor, poor Alice. Up so late finishing the gardening works. Her husband worked so hard. Tomorrow he's going to have a big day selling at the market. Such a good wife. She knows how hard her husband's worked. So she wants to do her part on the land. Let's see the mirror that... Um, Elias made us. Oh, I love it. Can I change the color? I want it to be... I guess that would be the best one for now. So there, now they have their handmade mirror that Elias made for them. So as soon as she's done eating, we're going to send her to sleep. So Alice is a music lover. They These Sims need music in their lives. So we are going to have to get her to play the violin. That's actually how they met. Oh, she's not feeling good. <gasps> Eating for two. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's why her hormones are acting up because she's pregnant. Okay, so is she going to go share the news? Is he excited? Aw, happy. Ecstatic after hearing the big news. And look, they're flirting right away. He's like, you still look beautiful, love. So I'm going to let her um, serenade him. He's probably going to leave, though. Maybe he'll stay. Oh, there we go. She's going to play music for him. Oh, she's playing a love song to him. These two are so cute. I just absolutely love them. But her bladder is definitely getting smaller now that she is carrying a little baby. So I'm going to let her take a bath and go pee. What does he need? He's hungry, so let's open the fridge and I'm gonna let him have some of that and then he's gonna have a busy day selling at the table here you are going to stock table and then you are going to tend table and start a yard sale Alice you're hungry but you need to eat something healthy I know you're hungry open grab a serving go on hun and then after you can start your morning chores. They definitely wake up super early on the farm. So I'm just going to have her come over here and she's just going to tell Elias that she is going to go to the market to or go to the shops to try to find some stuff um, for the baby. So he's like, okay, sounds good. He's itchy too. So he, they're just talking about that right now. Hopefully he'll be able to make a couple sales after. But it doesn't look like it's too successful today. Okay, so our yard sale's done. Alice and I are going to travel. These two are always so flirty. I love it. So we are going to the village shops. So I downloaded this shop. I did not um, change the lighting in it because I thought that's just going to be too much work. 
But I download, let's put the rubes on. I downloaded these little shops from the gallery. I think they're so cute and I think they're super like appropriate for the time. So Alice is just gonna shop around. So yeah, so I placed this lot. I figured, you know, from time to time she'll come here. She might need to get meat from the local butcher here or just pick up some fabrics for clothing to make and stuff like that. So it doesn't look like they actually have any um, baby stuff. So I will have to renovate, maybe like make a toy store or something. Um, but it looks like Adeo is here. So I'm going to have her come say hello to him. Because he is a part of um, Elias's group of friends. So she would want to say hello to him. And give her and her husband's regards to him and his family. So you can see they have all kinds of different dishes here. So she would come here to buy the meat and like grab a turkey and a roast chicken and things like that for the farm. So she's just stocking up on supplies. Um, here's another gentleman. So let's just do a friendly introduction to him as well. Oh, I think he's leaving. Oh no, he came back. So, yeah, so we're going to go back home. I just wanted to say that she went there to go buy bassinet and stuff like that. Um, part of the challenge rules is she cannot give birth at the hospital. She has to give birth at home, so we need her to be prepared for that. So she's home now. How's our mushrooms doing? Oh, perfect. So I'm going to have her sell all the mushrooms. And I'm going to have Elias try to start another yard sale. Let's try to sell to this gentleman here. And then we've got this lady here. Mac soup. Easy. So he's working really hard trying to sell. And Alice is taking a nap because she's super pregnant. Yay, we made a sale. Well, he tried. So he's like <laughs> celebrating, super excited about having a little beberone. Now we have $557. So I think we have enough money to buy a cradle. And I think I'm going to get the vampire or the witch one. I think that one looks like something that Elias could have made. So I'm going to move the violin here. Clothes can go here. And then we'll put the little baby right there. What color would it be? So that is the um, cradle that Alice was able to get for the little baby. How is she feeling? She's wide awake, but wide awake. <laughs> oh, someone made us food. So we'll go have, what is this? Grilled cheese? Beautiful. And I'll let Elias eat some too. So someone made that for us. So I want Elias to give a romantic gift to his wife. But we don't really have one. So I'm just going to give her one of these pictures. But I'm going to say that he's giving her a tree. Um, like a small tree. I love how she always gives him a gift back. That is the sweetest thing. She's really not feeling well. Every day we share together, we're creating our own fairy tale. I look forward to our happily ever after. Oh my gosh, she is so sweet. But she's got to go pee. And Elias is exhausted, so I'm going to let him go up to sleep now. And I'm going to plant the tree. And so this is the tree that he gave her. I'm going to say that this is, um, can he, she actually sit on it? They can. So I'll just say that it grew over the time that they were 
that she's been pregnant because you're pregnant for nine months and she's already in her second trimester but he's a really handy and carves wood so I think that he would do that for her and she's feeling happy from a gift so I just want her to come over and sit in her little rocking chair and she'll be able to sit there with her little baby and I just think it's so cute so I'm really happy about that um, so I'm gonna let her go to sleep too and then we'll take care of everything in the morning. Miss Alice is just eating her breakfast, getting ready for her big day. She's starting to do the work on her farm. I'm hoping I can get this laundry dry, but she can start, um, let's have her search pockets first because we need money. 32 bucks, won't see me complain. So yeah, look how pretty this tree is in the sunlight. I love it, I think it's so cute. So we're getting a good amount of money from our pockets, I'll tell you that much. And then I'm gonna have her, oh, it looks like these are dry now. So I'll have her put the laundry away and then she can do the laundry. What is she wanting? She wants to kiss Elias and she wants to read something. Okay. And she wants to make a friend. Oh, we could do that. After she's done the laundry, I think I'll invite someone over. A uh, craft sculpture. Go ahead and make another one. Who is she closest with out of all the girls she met? I like Sarah probably the best. So let's invite Sarah over. So then she can make a friend with Sarah. Poor girl works so hard. Now Elias should have another sculpture in our inventory. Is this playful sculpture okay? So I'm gonna have him come over here, stock table. She's inviting over Sarah. So Sarah's on her way over. So I'm gonna have her come over here and I'm gonna have her do friendly, ask about your day. Oh, she's going over to kiss the lion. Oh my gosh, these two. Okay, go say hello to your friend. Bow. <laughs> Here, you two can come sit over together. Let's add her to your group. So I've just sunk, synced up a few things for these two to do. To talk and get to know each other. Alice has learned that Sarah is a music lover, so they'll have that in common. So she's over there making a friend. Elias is working really hard, trying to make some sales. We made a sale. Good job, Elias. So she's a music lover, so there's more music options for us. So it says here, discuss favorite band. So she's talking about her favorite musician. Are you doing more sales pitches there? Come on, Elias. Looks like baby. Yay, okay. good job. You got to make a baby. Can you restock the table? <laughs> Ooh, nipper, nipper, nip. Got to provide for your baby. Here, you go play with her. She's living in Strangerville. Oh, she's got a sore back because she's so pregnant. Oh, this lady's just like, ah, I don't really want to buy anything, but I'll finish your wife's laundry for her. Oh, thank you. Looks like these two are having a really nice time together. Oh, it looks like we did make a sale. Oh, wow, we made another sale. Good job, Elias. And Sarah's leaving. Oh, we still have some items to sell. That's good. She's got to be getting along there pretty soon. <laughs> Feeling really relaxed. Um, Alice is well into her pregnancy. Third trimester in nine hours. And Elias is just playing a late night bit of 
bun. He's getting a little cold, so I'm gonna send him in and he can grab a serving of this French toast someone made for us. Sorry about that, guys. My game crashed right after Elias was eating his dinner, so we missed them sleeping, but nothing really happened. <laughs> So you don't have to worry about that. Alice is about to have bladder failure. So, oh, you're right in front. Mm. Eliza's like, oh, it's wet in here. Oh. She's like, uh, sorry, love. I need to get in the bath. This is marriage right here for you, folks. <laughs> Neither one of them caring. <laughs> I think it's because she's about to be, yeah, she's, she's in her third. Oh, look, I heard you became friends with Sarah. Oh, that's good. So we're, we're considered friends now. Today's mail's been delivered. $205. That's actually really good. So after his shower, he's going to go pay the bills. Aw, view a piece of art. That's actually something we should buy is an easel. And it kind of looks like something that Elias could have built. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to put the violin back up here. And I'm going to put the easel over here by the window. So she can paint while she's looking out the window. Okay, so Alice is feeling pretty good. So I think I'm going to have her come here and maybe just do... A classic a small classic painting just because she's they don't have a lot of money so I don't think she would be doing a really big one but they're allowed to hang classic paintings in the house that's part of the challenge rules is they have to only have classic paintings they're not allowed to have like modern or anything like that or abstract Ooh, I wonder if that means she's having a girl she's painting a pink flower I am huge. Aw, she's feeling really big with being bigger. She's not feeling good. She should give birth pretty soon here, though. Aw. She's got to go pee again. She always has to go pee. So I'm going to have her oh, sell to collector. She lost it. I think I'm going to have her frame this. And I'm going to hang it above the bed of the little baby. If it turns out to be a little boy, then we'll sell the painting and uh, get a different one. There, but I don't like the, can I change the frame color? Nope. Anyways, just a nice little something. Oh, I really appreciate your efforts there, honey, but it's kind of wet right now. You guys should come inside. Here, you come do a painting. And Elias, you can come inside and play the violin. Just a nice cozy day inside before the baby comes in the rain. Stay inside on a nice rainy day. Aww. I think Alice doesn't really have a lot of family, and neither does Elias, to be honest. Um, oh, she's painting a pink flower again. So I think their little family is going to be super important to them. At least she can sell this one because we already have this painting. Oh, she's getting so big. Oh, she's feeling inspired right now, so I'll have her do another small one. She keeps doing the exact same painting. That's gotta be a sign. And I honestly don't know what um, gender the baby is right now. But the fact that she keeps painting a pink flower. Aw, saw something today that reminded me of you. That's really nice of you, Sarah. Paint from reference. I like that. Um, small painting from reference. There we go. Aww, there's Elias. So I'm gonna have her paint a small picture of Elias. Aww, look at her go. I love when they do that. I'm gonna have her paint all of the kids. I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot. Maybe not. If we have a boy, we can start to work towards the next gener uh, next decade. Because we can't move on till we have a boy. Because only a boy can be the heir or the next generation. And all of our daughters have to be married before um, they move out. Uh, 
Now that's a beautiful painting. We'll just hang that here. We can make a whole photo wall of family photos. Oh, look at Elias. Can I name the painting? Yeah. Elias Dempsey. Before the first baby. So we know that it was a early on photo of Mr. Dempsey. We need him to make a chair for up here so he can sit while he's up here. We could move this here, actually. Although I liked the light lighting better before. But anyways, and then we'll put a chair here. There, so it's moved over. Maybe not so safe to have a candle that close to the baby. <laughs> but then we can put, eventually, uh, once it's not raining, he can go outside and make a, make a chair. Oh, it's not raining now. I'm going to have him do it right now. Uh, wall shelf I also need. But right now I need, I don't need a dining chair. Hmm. Well, go make a wall shelf. That way I can uh, put Alice's statue up too by, by the house. This is such a cute and wholesome little family. You know that? They are just so sweet. I really love them so much. Yay, our shelf is done. And then in Alice's inventory, I have... Oh, I think I'm going to have to go into build mode for this. Oh, how cute. Little lovebirds. I'm just going to send both of them to sleep and maybe the baby will come. Elias is going to be aging up soon. Oh, Alice is in labor. Alla and, um, okay. Alice is in labor. Elias ages up in four days and Alice ages up in 19 days. So she's quite a bit younger than him. Okay, I'll let you go bathroom, although I don't think you're going to make it again. Okay, well, come up here and have your baby. Elias, you need to wake up. Pre-parental panic, as usual. Don't panic, it's going to be okay. Okay. And look, he's staying with her. He's like, you stink. <laughs> she knows she stinks, but it's because she ha you built the outhouse so far, Elias. We're probably going to have to move it back. Oh, At least he's staying with her. <gasps> Congratulations, it's a girl. So it was a girl. So she was trying to tell us something. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's quickly look up here. I'm just gonna Google common female names in the 1890s. Okay, so the top uh, most popular names in 1890 was Mary, Anna, Elizabeth, Emma, Margaret, Ethel, Florence, Ida, Bertha, and Helen. Um, I think we're gonna go with Emma. I think Emma or Anna, Anna. Alice and Anna, Elias, um, we're gonna do Emma, I think, for the first one. Emma Dempsey. Oh, <gasps> the baby's born, you guys. She looks really happy. And she also got her pre-baby body back right quick. Elias is like, I'm gonna go eat some meatballs. Oh, we got a little baby. Oh, okay, so they're not allowed to bottle feed. They can only breastfeed. So it has to be um, Alice to feed the baby always. That's one of the challenge rules. So I'm going to just have her do some nice interactions with, with little Emma. And then I'm going to let her go have a shower. Oh, Elias came up here. I'm gonna have her come hide from everyone. She's really embarrassed. I do not want her dying of embarrassment. Oh, 
Okay, and he's going to change diaper. Cuddle, bounce. Oh, look at their little home, you guys. It's really coming together. Elias looks so happy with his little baby Rooney. Wow, he's reached parenting level three already. Elias learns things so fast. I don't know if it's because he lives in a tiny home or what. But there's our little baby Rooney. Little Miss Emma Dempsey. I should get it one with the filter of this time. There we go. And we can hang that on the wall. So we got the little baby. We got our little photo of her. Can I name the photo? Yeah. So we'll go Emma Dempsey on the day born. There we go. I don't know how much room you have to write in these things, so I'm just trying to be careful. There we go. So we've got our little baby and our little family. So excited for this little family. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please let me know what you guys thought down below. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. I really appreciate you guys watching. It means so much to me. And I hope you guys are looking forward to the next episode. I'm just so excited to start building on the farm. There's quite a few mods that I want to start getting these two for their little family. So I got like the chicken coop mod and a candle making mod. So Hopefully that they'll be able to start making money other ways besides the flowers and the selling table. And until next time, you guys, I'm going to say bye for now.